Hey you guys, it is your girl Naj. I am here today to bring you another video, a bit of a different one. Today we are going to um, observe a video together. So that video is Kendall Jenner's Pepsi, controversial Pepsi commercial that basically back in, let's see, when was this, 2018? Yeah, so it was a bit of a while ago. Um, it basically brought her a lot of controversy because the premise around this whole video is that it's a protest going on. We don't know exactly what the, the, the subject matter of the protest is. Pepsi's very vague about that, but you see people of different colors and races, they're all coming together. They're like stomping in the streets. Yeah, man, let's, 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 let's combat this unknown thing that we're all here for you see a woman in a hijab you see a black man break dancing and amongst all of this you see Kendall Jenner modeling and um let me just go ahead and put this clear I love the Kardashians and I don't feel any guilt shame about saying that I do know that they have had some things that have been controversial or negative or problematic in their past and I don't deny that, but dude, what family does not? I feel like a lot of people come after them, honestly, because they they are, you know, um, envious of their success. These people, they, you know, they play hard, but they also work really hard. They, they have built an empire, not off of just, you know, being fed it from generations to generations on a silver spoon. This is something that they've worked for. Now, we're going to watch this video together, and let's get right into it. Okay, so first of all, they are playing a song by Skip Marley, who I love. You see a dropscape of a city. You see a man playing a violin. He's Asian. You see a bunch of uh, multiracial, multicultural people walking. Now, um, there's a point in this video. I think it's going to come up soon. Uh, and this is the woman in the hijab I was talking about. There's a point in this video where they show very distinctly a black Pepsi can. And I don't know if it was Kendall who was holding this black Pepsi can. But I think, you know, as far as just me interpreting it, I think that was directly supposed to be related to the Black Lives Matter move, movement. Here's the problem. Pepsi, there it is. Okay, there's the black can. Here's the problem. And here's why this video got so much backlash and Pepsi very quickly took it down. You can see in this video that there's protesters, there's police officers, there's a bunch of multicultural people, um, you know, but what's the cause? H has it ever been very clearly stated what the, the cause is? No, it has not because to me this comes from an era where um, big corporations were seeing that Black Lives Matter was not dying down. And, and, and Black Lives Matter, you know, I have never ever been a direct supporter of Black Lives Matter. I'm not posting it on my page, you know, whatever. But at the same time, I'm not disparaging it because, of course, I want to see Black people taken seriously in the world. I don't want to see violence continuing to come to Black people. So there it is. You know, let's go back to this. There it is. You see, this is the this is the biggest uh, flashback that Kendall got is when she takes her blonde wig off, she hands it to an African American woman, and you see the the expression on this woman's face. She's just like, "What are you doing? What? Don't hit me, this. <laughs> like, um, yeah. So that's that's what she received a lot of criticism for. She basically got hounded on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. All of that stuff. And, um, you know, even looking at the process signs, you see peace signs, you see the conversation, you see a lot of product placement, <laughs> you see, um, you know, just very vague stuff. And basically, what, what we have here is that Pepsi tried to be uh, slick. <laughs> Pepsi tried to be slick. They tried to basically go in and uh, profit off of the Black Lives Matters movement and this, um, what do I want to say, almost this, this um, 
this energetic, this this energizing of people. That's that's the word that I'm I'm looking for. This energizing of people. And there you see at the end they've got their tagline: live bold, live louder, live for now. Very flat, you know, as someone who <laughs> comes from a background in advertising, this right here has a bunch of white uh, privileged male executives written all over it, you know, just, oh yeah, just put some black people, Muslim people, Asian people in there and just throw it out, you know, and this is one of the reasons that I segged Wade out of the corporate aspect of advertising and became a freelancer because I found when I was working at ad agencies, I saw that glass ceiling, I saw that big old frat, frat, frat house, mentality, you know, and it's clearly gotten lots of companies uh, under the fire, you know, in the past recently, and it will continue to until people actually try to give other perspectives a chance to be heard. This right here, it to me is like a, uh, we're pretending, <laughs> that we're hearing other perspectives, we're pretending that we want to support Black Lives Matter and all of this, you know, but it's really just to save face. It's just a CYA move. But in the end, it wasn't CYA because it didn't cover them. It literally brought them under fire. You know, they thought they were being slick. They thought that they could be very agnostic about all this and very sanitary and it would be okay. Maybe something like this would have been okay in the 90s before social media, but people are so much more aware these days and hypersensitive and you have to realize that you can't just come out and pretend to be all for multiculturalism, pretend to be all for inclusion, all for inclusion and, and that be all the the say so and that's that's that. No, you know, you really like, for example, if I was the ad exec on this this commercial, if I was a creative director, um, first of all, I would have changed the photographer to a black person. Let's go ahead and and and, and put it front and center. Let's not have, you know, an, a person of Arab descent or, you know, a Muslim or a person with hijab be forefront and center in what's so clearly trying to be a message about Black Lives Matter. Go ahead and put a black person at the center of that. Don't make the black person the person who Kendall Jenner, the, the celebrity promotion, shoves a, a blonde wig into their hands. If I was the creative director, I would have changed that. I would have really just went ahead and been 100% with this, um, not like, you know, pretending that this is something that it's not. No, go ahead and, and let it be what it is. Let it be. Just like John Lennon said, let it be, let it be, let it be, guys. Um, <clears throat> I think we're coming out of a world where... And like I've said in many videos, my best friend is white. My husband is white. I'm not some militant black person going around talking about the white man and all this stuff. Dude, this is 2023. We live in a multicultural world. We're different. We're different. And that's okay. But don't go win. It, it, don't go win with some sanitized version of Black Lives Matter and and expect that to get a great reaction either go in and be truly truly real with it let's be real or don't say anything it's as simple as that it's as simple as that guys either be real or don't say anything so um kendall jenner so um kendall jenner she did absolutely nothing wrong i find absolutely no fault in Kendall Jenner. Who I find fault in is the silly ad execs, you know. And, and when I go, <clears throat> if I were to go to look at the advertising agency who really conceptualized this and, and came up with all of this, I guarantee you, I guarantee you the creative director who oversaw this the lead writer who wrote the script, I guarantee you that they are white men, okay? 
I, I, I talk about this in my previous video about Brian Laundry and Gabby Petito. Um, white privilege, guys, it needs to be addressed. It needs to be addressed as fast as possible. You know, and so much stuff. Growing up in, a, in an African-American home, watching BET, for example, you know, and then to come to find out that BET is owned by a bunch of white and Jewish executives, you know, there's, <laughs> I don't know, there's not necessarily anything wrong with that, but let's just be real about it, you know? For example, in, if uh, HBCU, like I think it's Virginia State, for example, I, I, it started off as a historical black college and now it's a majority white college. Um, you know, <laughs> That, that's kind of how I feel about this thing. It's like you've got other people who are directing something that's supposed to be representative of another cultural group, of another subculture. And that's where things get problematic. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. The, the way that you can do it is by including diversity within the workplace, within the executive leadership level of a lot of companies and corporations, advertising agencies, politics. Like, I don't know how long that white privilege and white supremacy is going to fight against that because really what they're doing is making things so much worse for them, so much worse, you know? Like, I know we're coming out of a post-colonialism world, and so we're just navigating this. We're all trying to live together, figure this all out together. But, like, it's not going to happen by not having multiculturalism and inclusion, real multiculturalism and inclusion. So I hope... I truly hope that Pepsi learned a lesson. Again, I show no, I, I send no fault, no hate, no nothing to Kendall because it is the greedy, grubby, white privilege, racist, xenophobic ad execs and the system, the system of where, you know, we don't show true representation of the population within the executive leadership of our companies, within government, within politics. And, and that's the real issue that needs to be addressed. You don't want to support Black Lives Matters publicly? Okay, fine. Don't do it. Either really do it or stay silent. <laughs> So guys, what do you think in the comments? Let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more videos like this, let me know. And I'll see you next time.